Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play an SMWC production. Today we're going to take on Into the Water and probably the next level. So let's get to it. Oh, let's do this text box right here. Watch out for the wild water. It will suck you down. Okay, that didn't sound... Um... It didn't sound wrong. Sucking me down, but... <laughs> oh, but I like this. This is a nice, uh... This is a nice effect here. A nice, uh, little... Implementation they made. Water sucking you down. I, you know, ever since Vladdy started working on his hack, you know, I've learned, I, I've I've found out about so many like, uh, you know, mods you can make into this game. Like, you can uh, you can do a double jump. I actually already knew about that, but uh, you could do stuff like uh, like these little tiles that you know, like the little wood logs that are slippery, and if if you stand in them too long, they'll you'll fall through them and stuff. Um, stuff like that, and, and I mean, there's a lot of other stuff too. But you know, I'm sure um, being sucked down by the water is one of them, and uh, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, but this level seems like it's pretty hard. It's like Kaizo material, but not not as Kaizo. But but this is the part of the this is where the game gets like really tedious. You know, stuff like this. I wouldn't be able. I don't think I'd be able to beat this without save states. It, it would take like hours of trying. But anyway, um, so I've almost been working at my job for two weeks now, which is uh, pretty awesome. I already got my first paycheck. Um, didn't get to use it yet because I had to set up my uh, my new bank accounts, like a checking or savings account, whichever one allows me to have a, a debit card. But it was only twenty eight dollars my first paycheck, and I mean, all this, I know that sounds uh, fishy, but I mean, it was my fault because I didn't get enough appointments. I only did like. Oh shit! The square button's sticky. Um, it was my fault because I didn't get that many appointments. Um, I only did like two appointments that week, so that's two times 14, 20, 28. Um, but if I did like five appointments, I get like I don't know what five times 14 is, but it's like close to a hundred dollars. So uh, this week, actually, I already got my I already uh, did my second week week's worth of my paycheck, so it's another twenty eight dollars, which is uh, pretty sad, but I really don't care. Um, I mean, the thing is, I, I already explained this before in my other video. I'm not going to go over the paycheck, how that works, but, uh, but, you know, what you got to do to, you know, get bigger paychecks is you got to do, like, A, one more appointments, or B, get a pay raise and sell more stuff, like, get a bit bigger incentive. I mean, people at that job, they're making, like, $800 paychecks every week, and it pays weekly. So if you sell, like, a bunch of, like, homemaker sets and... And uh, you have a, a nice um, commission percents, like 30%. You, you, and you sell like a, uh, a homemaker, you can get like $300 or something. I don't know. Um, so as time goes on and I get better at the job, I will get a lot bigger paychecks. Like I'll definitely, like if I work there for a long time, I'll, I'll be getting like minimum $300 paychecks every week, which is pretty awesome. So that's why I'm not going to give up on it. So, uh, but I'm having a lot of problems, you know, getting appointments. Like... Um, I mean, you you know, if you do this job, like you have, like you 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 have to know people to be really successful at this job at, at first. Um, but for me, I don't know many people. I don't go out with a lot of friends every night. I don't have that big of a family. I don't. Uh, my family doesn't have like a you know a big circle of friends. You know, family friends or what not. Uh, so it's really hard for me to find people to do appointments with. And you have to start out with your friends and family at the beginning and get recommendations from them. And I haven't really been able to get that many rec unrelated recommendations from my family so far. But uh, I have some recommendations come my way, come in my way from my cousin. And hopefully that will work out. Uh, and see what happens from there. Um, and actually I got another appointment with my neighbor. I'm doing that tomorrow, hopefully. Um... But yeah, uh, I mean, this this job to, to do good at this job just depends on what type of person you are. Like, if you're really social, you know, if you're coming from a wealthy family that knows a lot of people, then that's you know, that's that's a given, you know. But anyway, um, I'm not giving up on the job. I'm gonna keep keep going at it, and uh, hopefully, I'll be able to save up for that computer in the near future. But anyway, um, I my brother is actually at my house recently for three days and it was a lot of fun uh, he brought the other PlayStation 3 controller I don't know if I said anything about this but 
the one that he gave me before, um, it was actually not the right controller. It was his good controller, the one he just bought. But he was, uh, he made a mistake. He thought, like, they both look the same, and, um, like, he, I got the, the, the good one, and he got the one that was, uh, can you jump on these, no, what the hell, how do we get up there? Never mind, um, yeah, he, I got the good controller, and he, and he got the one with the sticky square button, um, and he brought that over, and we traded, but I'm like, I'm like, tell my brother, like, uh, like, why do you want this controller? I already took it apart, and I broke it, and now there's no rumble feature, and he didn't care, so I ended up getting the better controller, and it's the one that I'm using right now to play this game. But the only, the only um, real issue with this controller, hon, uh, don't have boo boss, don't hurt me, I'm just here for the, um, for the Deb, Deb Boof Tante ball? Tick-tock, watch the clock. Lullaboo won't be happy you're here. Okay. Well, anyway, um, yeah, so this controller just has a sticky square button. That's it. Um, not really a big of a deal. I, could, I can clean the square button just to make it better. I'm not, I'm not taking this controller apart by any means. No chance of that. So I, I failed every single time. The only time I didn't fail with oh, taking apart a controller was uh, when I, back in the days when I'd uh, play Modern Warfare 2, when I'd slam my controller around my my uh, cement floor, like when I didn't get a nuke, when I came close to getting a nuke and missed it. Um, wow, I think I could swallow you. Uh, but yeah, back in the days when I played Modern Warfare 2, I used to slam a controller around the floor all the time, and and uh, something broke off inside, and and I took it apart and I uh, shook it out and got rid of the problem. That was the only time I ever got out alive doing that. But uh, but yeah, I've learned my lesson. Took I learned it the hard way. Never doing it again. <sighs> and this level is really annoying, especially the song and all these damn boos. And that getting the key. I don't I don't care about secret exits. Uh, to be honest, I know this this, this game probably has a lot of nice secret exits, but. I'm not going for him. I really don't care. I'm not going that way. That's not the right way. And I think I just went in a circle. Uh, yeah, this game's gonna get tedious now. Okay, where do I go? Let's go back this way. Not reading that again. <sighs> but yeah, I, this is the first video I've recorded in over a week. Uh, I've been really busy with work and uh, haven't had a lot of energy to record my brother was over recently so I wasn't able to do any recording when he was there or here and uh, but yeah it's nice to be able to pick up the controller again and uh, play this game oh and by the way I I've got a brand new game um, with my new with my paycheck money I bought uh, Final Fantasy 4 the complete collection it's a game that I have wanted to play for so long um, I'm watching HC Bailey let's play it for some time now and uh, it's just so much fun to like watch him play it and you know, you know do the stuff he's doing he makes the game a lot easier and more fun it's just fun to like you know emulate what he does in the game and and everything he does works like every every strategy he has it, it works um, where am I going here? Well, I think I'm supposed to hit some switch down there yeah, I hate that guy but yeah I'm uh, close to the end of the game now I'm at the uh, sealed cave. It's only been like less than a week since I got it. That, that game is so awesome. It's like the best. Uh, it's it's way it kicks the shit out of the DS version. I mean, the only thing the DS version has that the PSP version doesn't have is the uh, unlimited inventory, the uh, mini maps, which was really help. Which they were really helpful. Um, and you got the rewards if you clear the map. That was nice. Uh, and the big thing that the DS version has, that the PSP version doesn't have, is the cutscenes and the voice acting. But, um, I really didn't like the battle, the, the battle animation to the battle system in the DS version. It was really annoying and the enemies were a lot harder. But the, the great thing about the PSP version is the, the refurbished graphics and, and the, uh, damn it, and the ability to, uh, switch between party members in battle like you can if you don't want to use a certain person's turn you can switch to somebody else which wasn't in the original version of any of the games I, I'm not sure about the DS version but uh but yeah um and another great thing the DS the PSP version has is the uh god damn it 
that, that the PSP version has um, is you could um, you could switch between the uh, original soundtrack and the uh, and the the new soundtrack, like the DS soundtrack. And uh, oh, another huge thing um, is the uh, it includes the interlude game and the After Years. I never actually got to play the After Years. I only played the first story. Um, I, didn't, I never even finished it. Um, but now I can finally play the After Years. So I'm going to have fun with that. Uh, and I just love this game. I love Final Fantasy IV. And I really got to figure out what I'm doing in this level here. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to save state here. And I'm going to figure out what I got to do off screen. So I'll be right back. Alright, I figured out what I gotta do. I gotta go all the way back to uh, where that, the room where that killer fish was, and uh, gotta go through that pipe. Get the fuck out of my way. Gotta get that pipe, go, go through that pipe, and uh, get that key. That key doesn't lead to a secret exit. It's, uh, it's actually something I need in this level to beat it. Not reading that again. Okay, let's get, let's get back to that pipe. Uh, get away from me. See, I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare 3 lately. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it for some reason. Uh, not because of the new maps. I didn't get them yet. Because uh, it's on Xbox. Um, which is kind of gay. I still do that contract thing. But, uh, whatever. Um... But now, since I have this new job, I can afford the new maps whenever they come out. But I doubt that I'll buy them. Um. <sighs> okay, let's get that key. Oh, God. God. Come on, Mario. Running out of time here. Let's go. Let's go, Mario. Kind of rhymes. Come on, swim faster. Okay. Now we have to go all the way back here, near the beginning of the level. Okay, let's open up this door. And it's kind of bugged. If you if you stand away from the door before unlock after unlocking it, then you can't go through. So you gotta be careful. There we go. Got to press the press up at the same time that you use the key. Okay. Now we got the midway points. This is the room. See those little guys up there? These little ghost blocks. This room you can switch them. So now the uh, invisible ghost blocks from before are going to be visible now, and uh, in that room where the killer fish is. So we can uh, walk up there now near the ceiling. So let's go. Yes, I did see that chain up there. Don't worry, I'll get to that soon enough. Okay, let's... How do I get up there? There we go. I hate these guys. Oh, my God. And I'm running out of time. This was not meant to be. Come on. I'm Mario. You can do it. I'm not going to make it. See, now we can run up here. I think I can make it if I hurry. I gotta do some fancy shit here. Like that. And we got fishing boot. Hold it, sugars. Y'all are wrecking my party and my house. Y'all think you can clean my clock? Y'all best think twice now. Okay. Okay, we gotta really hurry right here. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself. Um, got the midway point, so don't have to really worry. Um, it's not a big deal. Let's turn the switch on again. I was never gonna make it. I know that for sure. It's too close for com. It's too close uh, for comforts. Okay, let's uh go back to the other room. Go back to the fish and boo. Those guys are really annoying. Get that mushroom here. He 
You think uh, when Mario has sex with somebody, you think he uses a mushroom to get bigger? <laughs> wonder if anyone's ever thought about that. Or thought of that joke. Probably. Okay, now we got enough time to finish the level here. And sorry this video is going to be a bit long. But some things have to be long. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, let's go back here. Don't have to do any fancy shit this time. Just, uh... I'm just, I'm just in a hurry to finish this level so I can end the video. I don't want it to be like 30 minutes long. Okay, he's not reading that again. Yeah, I really gotta fix this square button. Or the, I gotta really gotta fix the controller driver. So the square button is uh, usable again. Because whenever I hold it down, it doesn't, it, it it doesn't, uh, computes. And we got a P-switch here. Alright, now we gotta go all the way back to where I unlocked that door. And we're gonna go up, we're gonna go up that chain. Oh, this could be pretty fancy here. Good, got it. Alright, let's finish this level here. I think this is the end, if I remember correctly. Ooh, slow down there. Ooh, a little smiley face. Let's see the smiley face with the blocks. Ooh, it looks nice. What the fuck? Oh, I bet there's like an invisible door somewhere. I don't know why there's all these balloons all over the place. This makes sense. Okay, where am I going? Wait, do I need a cape or something? Um... Wh what am I supposed to do here, man? There's a smiley face here. Um, how am I supposed to get up there? Um, I'll be right back. All right, I figured it out. I need the P switch over here, not up here. I don't know why I went up here. There was like nothing up here, but a smiley face over here. It's like fuck you. Um. Okay, right here, there is a secret door. So let's... Whoa, how did that guy get out of it? What? That guy can hurt me? Oh, I kept saying the name wrong for that uh, fishing boo. It's actually called Lully Boo. Okay, put the piece switch here. Ugh, God damn it. Okay, go. There we go. And, of course, we have a boss. Lully Boo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, that, that hurts him. Yeah, this video's gonna be pretty long. Like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, I'm doing really bad. The square button's really fucking with me right now. Ugh. I'm too lazy to move. I don't, I don't want to move from the spot. Just please die. Oh my god. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Yay! Finally beat this goddamn level. And there's a lot of more tedious levels to come. But that's about all the time I have left for this episode of Let's Play an SMWC production. When we come back, we're going to take on the next castle, which is called Wild What Castle. Sounds pretty kinky. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.